Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Android Studio on Windows 11 machine. So basically Android Studio is an IDE used for developing Android applications. So first of all what I need to do is just go to Google search bar and type download Android Studio and then I will go to this page and then onwards I will click this download Android Studio. Then I will accept the terms and condition and I will click download Android Studio. So this is going to start the download process. So I already have this file in my system. So I'm going to cancel it from here. Okay, just dismiss this. And let me just open the exe file from here. Just click. And this is going to open the file for me. Uh, you just need to wait. Uh, okay, then I have to click yes. And then uh, I will click next. I'm not going to change anything. Uh, size is around 4.1 GB. Click next. This is where it will be installed. Okay, click next and next and it will take some time to complete. Uh, let me just see the show details. So it is look, it is installing at the moment. It will take some time. So it's done completed. So I will click next and then I will click finished. So the moment I will click finish, it will start the Android Studio. Click finish and look Android Studio. Now I'm going to just wait and now I will click don't send. And this is going to give me this page. I will click next. I will choose the standard version. Click next. Okay, I'm not going to do anything. Android SDK location. Okay, fine. I'm not going to do anything. Just click next. Click next. Okay, let me see the details. Okay. Click next. So accept and click finish. Uh, and this is going to take some time to complete. It is installing the Android emulator and some other things. So this will take some time. It is around 419.6 MB. So it will take time. So after taking some time, finally we have successfully uh, installed this. So now I'm going to click finish and this is going to open the Android Studio page. Okay, now what I need to do is just create a new project. Okay, and then I will select the empty activity and I will click next. I'm not going to change anything. The name will remain as it is. So if you want to change the name, you can do it, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. Okay. All other settings will be default. Okay, fine. And then I will click finish. Uh, afterwards, uh, this is going to open this and this will take some time to, to create this project. Okay. So you just need to be patient and wait until this is done and dusted. Uh, now we just want to, uh, okay, allow. Yes, allow. I don't want to do anything. Look, uh, it is doing something. Look, uh, Gradle project sync in progress. It is doing something. You just need to wait, okay, until uh, this is completed. Now I, I, I'm going to remove the assistant uh, page. Just remove it and I will go to the device manager. If you look at the device manager, this is my device, uh, virtual device. I need to start this device. So I will click start and you will see running devices right now. It, there is no running devices. Okay, but it is starting up. Once it is started up, it will show the running devices over here. We're connecting to the emulator. So just be patient and uh, wait. Um, it is doing something at the same time gradual project sync in progress uh, uh, this will be completed in a while so finally it is done the gradual project sync uh, will take some time it has taken around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. So don't worry about it, okay? Now I will run this .kt file. 
So in order to run, I will just click run app and you will see the change in, in the application, okay? So finally we are done. It has successfully executed. It will take some time to execute. So the final output is this, hello Android. So the Android is mentioned here, which is the name and this is the text, hello. Okay, hello and Android is appended and it will display uh, in the screen, hello Android. At the end, I would request you to please subscribe, like and share. Thank you so much and have a great learning.